Well, basketball season is coming to an end. Baseball season is here. USF and Minnesota Duluth are going at it. The birdcage today. It's early in the game when Nathan Rosenberg takes a crack, but that's Noah Christensen making a nice catch and flip to second on an inning ending double play. But Minnesota Duluth gets the bats going. This is Cade Peliquin ripping one out to right field, and that's going to bring home a runner. That makes it a one to nothing game. They keep it going in the third now. Jack Pooter also taking a crack at this one out to right field. That's a two RBI single, and Duluth, they lead three to nothing. But the coup would fight back here in the third as well. It's Brady Clare launching one to center, and the fielder just can't haul it in, and he has a two RBI double for Sioux Falls. And the coup would battle back, and they take game one, six to five. They would drop the second game, though, nine to eight. Up north at the Sanford Diamonds, Northern State is down two to Winona State with one inning left in the first game. They'd start to mount a comeback. Carson Hesser gets some air in this one. It's going to circle back with the win. He's caught out, but the runner scores, and it's a one-run ball game. It's Jonas Schmidt up next, and he's going to try to get the lead for the Wolves. That one finds Green, and two are going to come in as Northern State takes that lead, and they go up. Now here's where they start to pile it on. They keep that scoring going here in the seventh. Xander Parr getting this one out to center field. He's caught for the out, but it's going to bring in another insurance one run here for the Wolves. And they'd add on as well. Michael Benavides is going to pull this one out to left field, and the Wolves are now piling on. They lead eight to five. And how about just one more run for good measure? Dylan Solek is going to dribble one out to left field, and that's going to bring home yet another runner. A six-run seventh caps the comeback for Northern State. They take game one nine to five over Winona State, and the Wolves would also take a 12 to five win in the second game as well.